Still have people. All right, now I need someone to give me a thumbs up. Can you hear me okay? Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, wonderful. Thank you, holy ones. All right, let's see. All right, welcome, 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 our beautiful new human class. And uh, you may notice my hair moving a bit in the breeze of the fan that is next to me because I have no air conditioner in this room I'm in. Um, we had a hurricane go through uh, Wednesday night, early morning, Thursday. And so we're still out of power. We have no power. My husband's running our home on a generator and, um, and we're doing really well though. We, <laughs> I just thought I would share it with you guys because I feel like it's connected to this massive reset, if you will. Okay, you, you, un you understand morning? like that concept of a massive reset. Yes, like uh, when something is getting ready to reboot itself, you turn it on and off. Yes, yes. All right, so here we go. <laughs> what a really big reboot, right? <laughs> so, all right. Um, this is a beautiful class space we're going to have together. I'm combining a few spaces as we're letting some people in the door here i'd like to share with you um lucretia i'm not sure if she's here today but lucretia is one of our pod member or pod leaders actually um and she did a beautiful newsletter this month for her pod the pods are the acosma pods of light and they are gifted spaces so if you're not in one and you'd love to be in one just email me um, they're led by students who have graduated my, the master teacher program, either mine or another teacher who teaches this as well. Uh, they're really beautiful spaces for additional conscious conversations, blessings of your being, uh, a space to just feel loved and heard and safe. Uh, and, and we all come from a really um, seeing what's right perspective. Yes, yes. So Lucretia, she put in her newsletter this month to her pod. Um, she talked about two of the five crystals that are the Acosma crystals. It just means we work with them in Acosma. Um, but I thought it was very timely with what we're going to talk about today. So I wanted to share this with you briefly. If you're not already familiar with working with crystals, um, they are a very powerful ally in assisting energy in your own body, your own being, your health, your physical, your emotional, your mental, your energetic, all connected, your environment. And the two she spoke of, I had just really started getting more of them placed in my home a certain way. I've been working with them for years, but I was working with those two this last week more than any others. And I thought that's a sign, right? You know how you see a confirmation, you're bringing yourself some information, right? So I thought I'm going to tell everybody here today. So Shungite, I even brought two for show and tell. Shungite. <laughs> um, you can get it in all different types of shapes and sizes. I have a pyramid. I got this off of Amazon. I have this Shungite sphere. I bought it at a shop um, local. You can get smaller pieces, jewelry, very easy to find Shungite jewelry. It's not that expensive either, but here's the kicker. If you don't have it physically available to you, you always have it energetically available to you you always have it energetically available to you. What do I mean? The field that we are a part of, the energy field that is everything there is, yes, limitless potential of all, that has the vibration of Shungite in it. So if you don't have Shungite and you're like, oh, I want to connect with that vibration and utilize that for my highest good, intend it. You could just hold the thought, and or meditate on it. Um, just allow yourself to envision yourself connecting in with the vibration of Shungite and just wrap yourself in it. Make yourself the most beautiful necklace you've ever seen or bracelet or whatever it is you want to make, yes? 
and put it on your body, in your mind, in your imagination. See the energy of Shungite vibrating around your brain, your head, your body, your heart. Shungite is fantastic for um, keeping you uh, in an alignment energetically that is most beneficial for you, even when you're around a lot of electromagnetic frequencies. So they call them EMFs. They come off of a lot of different things like microwaves and hair dryers and cell towers and all these other things. And I'm not a Debbie Downer or a, you know, stand on my soapbox and say, woe is you. Oh, we ought to be afraid. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, listen up, let's be educated. All right. Yes, we know we need to breathe air, so we breathe it. So if we know Shungite's helpful, why not? Wrap yourself in some, right? Make yourself a beautiful necklace in the quantum field or go buy one in the physical, both, whatever works for you. But Shungite, fantastic on many levels. And the biggest one I'm hearing right now is really uh, the earth. The earth is in this space of itself where uh, those of us who are in this vibrational shift alignment, and not everyone is, and that's all right, because everyone will be when they're ready to be, all right? So just let that be something you understand. Uh, but the earth is in this shift space of itself, and in doing so, it's almost like as those that are leaving, in a sense, it's just you're connecting in with another vibrational space of yourself and of the planet you live on, that's what leaving means, if you will. You're leaving a vibrational way of existing and you're moving into a new way of existing, all right? I'm not saying you're leaving the planet, you know, you're leaving the vibrational alignment of that reality. But as we're doing so, these uh, denser spaces like EMF, toxicity in the soils, toxicity in the water, whatever it is, they flare as you leave. Do you understand? They flare as you leave because it's this hmm, recognition of the leaving. It's like if you were leaving a room full of very loud people. When you leave, when you get to the door, you can hear them all, right? Because you're right there getting ready to leave and they're all very loud and you step through the door and then they become less loud and then you leave and go down the hall or whatever and you know you start hearing them less and less and then you don't hear them at all. This is where you're and I and we are at. Does this make sense to you? Someone head shake if you get it, yes? <sighs> thank you, thank you. All right. So Shungite's very great, uh, beautiful. And another one Lucretia spoke on is my absolute favorite probably is Alestial. And there's different versions of Alestial. This is kind of like a, I would say this is a smoky quartz Alestial. Uh, Alestials look like they have a staircase on one side, like the ridges of the crystal kind of go in like stairs. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. It's always right by me when I work here. This is definitely a smoky quartz crystal. See how dark it is? You see the difference? That's why the other one, I kind of think it's an in-between a clear quartz. It, it, it's not a full smoky, but there's different colors on Alestials, but I don't know if you can pick it up. Can you see the stairs? I call them stairs. You see how it kind of has all those little ridges? All right, that's a symbol or a sign you're working with an Alestial. Alestials, this is what's really cool about this share as well. Shungite, extremely grounding, your root lines, earth connection. Alestial, crown opening, communicating with your team of light, your higher mind, your higher self. Do you see how we're doing this? <laughs> we're grounding ourselves into the new earth as we open up ourselves to our whole divine being. All right. Okay, so Alestials, um, they're very helpful as well on there's so much more to share with these but I don't want the whole class to be about these crystals, but it, it came in, I think she sent her newsletter out yesterday and I was already working on some stuff in my own home for myself and in my own mind with Shungite and Alestial. And when I saw her email, I thought, well, I got to share this in the class. So here you go. I lay it at your feet. Remember, if you can't get them in the physical sense, please just utilize them from the field or do both right if you can. All right, let's look at my notes real quick because I have a lot to share with you today. <laughs> All right now, so the separation of dimensional spaces has broadened. We talked about this before, but I need to reiterate, I need to share again. 
the separation of dimensional spaces is happening and the distance in that gap, if you will, is broader, it's bigger. What does that mean? It, oh, many of you are gonna go, been there, done that with this understanding. Thank you for confirming. But what it means is um, you most likely have noticed or you will notice that certain people you may have had a situation with them or a experience a communication of some kind that you did not see eye to eye at all and it was almost like i can't do this anymore this is just not going to work and it kind of felt like they left or they they're not really going to be in your life as much anymore and then there's these people in the middle that you had an experience with and it was big and it might have not felt great at the time, but then everybody recalibrated, you know, it might have been scary in certain spaces or it might have been uncomfortable in certain ways. But on the other side of it, you were like, oh, I'm so much better off. And the person's still here. So they recalibrated with you. They made the shift with you. All right. And then the other one is new people. And we have some new people here today. So there you go. There's our confirmation. New people come into our life because they are in an alignment with us and uh, they are in that new space that we've just come into. Is this making sense? Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Now, another thing that we're picking up on, and if you're not in this space yet, uh, any of these spaces I speak of, just know you showed up in this class or you found this video. So this means you're entering it. Does this make sense? And if this is all like, yep, 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 and they're done that, then you're here. All right. Now, another space of this is more awareness, noticing more awareness. You in your everyday life, navigating your own thoughts, your own experiences, all the spaces of you, everyday life, but with more awareness. Even the awareness that you're observing. Has that happened to anyone? A head shake, a thumbs up. Has that happened to anyone where you're just like, I realize I'm watching it more. I'm watching me, I'm watching my space, I'm watching the person that I'm having the connection with or the environment, and I'm just kind of holding more curiosity, more observation, more allowance, more neutrality. That's another sign that you're living in another dimensional alignment of your being, all right? Okay, now, um, <laughs> this one was so fun when I heard this this week to share with you. All right, so, this word has a meaning to it that we would think of as not love and light, okay? The word I'm about to share with you. But what you and I are being asked to do is carry this word up with us and tweak it, right? We've talked about this before, how everything connected with us shifts, everything, including our word usage. So some words we drop, just like the people, some words we tweak, just like with people, and some words we get new words we never used before. And chonokea, there you go, peace unto you. So um, this word is the word ruthless. <laughs> That's a weird one, right, for me to bring into the class, ruthless. It sounds so, so heavy in some ways and daunting, right? But what we're being asked to do, in my humble opinion, I lay it at your feet, you do with it what you will. We're being asked to become spiritually ruthless. What does that mean? It means that you no longer apologize in any way, shape or form for your beliefs, for who you are and for how you live. You allow you, you trust you. And if someone tells you that that goes against this, that or the other, you remain spiritually ruthless. You say, I am who I am. I shall be who I am. I allow me. You do it with love. You do it with love for yourself. First and foremost, you don't shove anything down anyone else's throat. We don't need anyone to be like us. We do not need anyone to think like we think or be like we are. We allow all to do their thing, but we hold our truth to where we are unshakable 
in all, like I realized I even had facets of my own being, my own life, my own spaces of connection, where I was allowing um, myself to get caught up in societal framework of, uh, I should believe this way because this is um, seen as um, the right way to believe or the kind way to believe or something like that. And then I realized mm, that goes against my core beliefs. It goes against my truth of who I am. So no, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm done. I tap out. <laughs> If you want to play that game, you absolutely can. It's available. Uh, but I live in an, in an alignment where um, love really is love. It's not this mm, hodgepodge put together thing that is being utilized to actually be very divisive. So, so that's kind of cryptic, but, <laughs> but I think many of you can understand what I'm talking about. So spiritually ruthless, this is a space that we can embrace and allow ourselves to protect our energy, protect our being, not from fear, but from educated understanding of who we are, what we are, and where we are. That's very big. Who are you? What are you? And where are you? All right? Think about those three things as you move forward on your path. When I say that to myself, who am I? I'm a higher dimensional being of light in a human form. Who am I? What am I? I'm that being living on this earth. Where am I? In the understanding of the collective, I have a human form. In the understanding of my spirituality, I am divine. In the understanding of that, it is to anchor that divinity into this now space of existence. I do not um personally uh get too deeply into societal structure spaces i i don't need them i don't care for them i don't want them i feel they're very divisive so i tend to allow myself to really maintain that wholeness vantage point as i look at the world that is part of the world i'm in and we've talked about this before you can be in something and not of it you can be in something and not of it, all right? Christ said that as well. He said, though you are in the world, you are not of it. All right, now let's look at this. Description of the present is a prescription for your future. That was such a good one. That came in a couple of weeks ago. So whatever you describe yourself as, you're prescribing that for you. You know, like you go and you get a prescription for a certain thing. Oh, I have a headache. Let me get a prescription. Or I have a this. I need a prescription to take care of that. Well, however you describe yourself is how you're writing the script of what you're going to then experience. All right. So remember that power that you're wielding when you are describing. All right. Does it mean you have to... Uh, not, you know, if you have a space that you need to talk about, that you need to share with someone, um, that you need to work through, that you don't talk about it. No, you absolutely can, but be mindful. I think I said this a while back. I have like one or two people on the planet that I will run my mouth off to about spaces that are big and, and uncomfortable. I do not go on my social sites. I do not reach out to everybody that will possibly listen to me and say and describe every little thing that I'm navigating because all you're doing is amplifying the engagement of that whatever you're talking about, all right? So remember, it's you holding the power. It's not the outer doing it to you, right? It's us creating it. So this is the creation, ah, the breath through the word and the feeling, yes? And the mind, the thought. All right, so water, we've talked about this before. Water is programmable and it will organize and restructure itself according to the energy it is given. If you if you take that and please remember that sentence this week, it will organize and restructure itself based on the information it is giving. So if the description is coming out victim, then the water will flow as a victim. It will run the vibration of victimhood, the water, your water, my water in our cells, in our blood, all the spaces, the organs, everything. So how powerful to allow ourselves to think about the program we're placing within our water. Does this make sense to you? Yes? 
All right, now I'm moving kind of quickly because I also want to do something else with you in a moment. All right, see it, feel it, manifest it. This has been all over the place forever. The secret, the book, you know, the concept people talk about manifesting and creation and how you're a creator or some say co-creator and, you know, it all is happening for us and we're aligning, designing it and aligning it. And so it's, it's not that I'm telling you something new here. I understand that. I even said in my mind, as I looked over my notes, I've said this to them, you know, for years now, you really want me to say this again? There's a clearing coming out of the um, left side of the lower abdomen. <sighs> All right. And I heard, yes, say it again, because they're going to hear it from a space of you and a space of them that they've never heard it before. Yes? Yes see it to see it in your mind if you can't see it in your life so you say i don't see it and you're doing this right you're looking at your outer world i don't see it what is she saying see it that's the key see it see it with your inner eye <gasps> and then as you see it with your inner eye feel it really i'm not lying to you i'm not joking i'm not crazy i do it i've done it i have proof Many others do as well. Feel it. And you will manifest it. Now, we're actually going to do this together in a minute here. But um, you and I have been, uh, and this is, please, information only, education. Uh, this is not doom and gloom. This is not fear. I need you to hear me from a vantage point of um, freedom and a vantage point of strength. All right? But we've always had these abilities and powers, always. It's who we are. It's the design of this form we are in. And so this isn't like the higher, even dimensional spaces of ourselves bringing this in. The human is actually designed to be a creator being. The human is designed to be a creator being. They create energy. They are energy. We are energy. And there has this knowledge has been known and actually kind of utilized for the betterment of other parts of society than just the individual. So there are spaces of humanity that kind of run off of this understanding that most humans don't have, meaning, you know, the programming, the cultural societal programming that we've been given that many of us have woken up to and said, wait a minute, this doesn't feel right. This isn't right. This isn't me. I'm not here for this. What the heck is going on? And we started then implementing our true program, our true belief structure. And we started seeing our lives shift and our lives change and our bodies change and all of this, right? Because we've always been these manifestors, but we've been programmed in a sense by our cultural structures and teachings, religious, science, all of it to maintain uh, energy for a certain sector, but not for the individual. Does this make sense to you? Are you following me? All right, now, so now we're going to say, and if my mic gets a little wonky, I think it's because I'm running on a generator. I keep getting a signal that um, it's switching, but if, some, if you can't hear me at some point, just flag me, please. Um, so now we're going to allow ourselves to run the energy our way. How fun. We're talking about this and I'm running the energy my way on a generator. Oh my God, are you seeing this with me? Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> the entire plant for my county got hit. So it's not even like parts of my neighborhood are out. The plant itself got hit by a big tree <laughs> and they have to rebuild the whole plant. So you can't make this up. All right, so... Um, so we're gonna run our energy our way now from here on out, okay? And I'm gonna do this exercise with you guys for a minute here, but I want you to think about implementing this moving forward 
and I want to hear from you. I want you to either write me on Patreon or write me, email me, or get into the group chat, wherever you are connecting with me. And I want you to tell me your feedback, all right? If you will implement this, love yourself, implement this. I want you to take 15 minutes a day, if you can, just for a couple weeks, like give yourself a date, you know, tell yourself you're gonna do it for 21 days or 14 days, whatever works for you but love yourself enough to make this dedication to yourself. If you can do 15 minutes for one a day, that's fantastic. If you could do it twice a day, maybe you do it when you wake up and you do it when you go to bed, awesome. Optimal is three times a day, if you can do it. I understand I'm asking for something that may not be in your schedule, but see what you've got. What am I asking you to do? I'm asking you to take 15 minutes and I'm asking you to practice feeling different emotions than maybe what you have been feeling for the majority of your life. And some of you have already shifted into these different emotions and they're more go-to default spaces for you. So this is not really something new. And some of you, you're just coming into this and some, you know, everybody's in their own space and it's all perfect, it's all beautiful, it's where we need to be. <laughs> We need every space of this. Every space of this is valuable and sacred and helps the whole, right? So it's important that we have the increments of everybody in a different alignment because then everybody is bringing that energy to that alignment. Does this make sense? All right, now, so, so maybe what you could say is you trust your intuition and your intuition says, let's go with gratitude. So for 15 minutes, you envision whatever makes you happy and you feel grateful. So if that's traveling with your family or if that's just sitting on the front porch looking at the yard or if that's holding your grandkid or your own kid or your cat, uh, whatever it is for your world, right? And you just envision, think about whatever makes you feel grateful. Maybe it's this class, I don't know, right? Okay, we can throw that in there, right? And you just think about it and you picture it and you feel the gratitude. So you see the space and you feel the gratitude and you let it move you. You let it move you, you let it move you. I cannot tell you how many times when I started this in 2017, I started doing this work. And I would come, I would go in my closet to do it because I had kids and a husband and dogs and all this stuff going on. And I would just sneak away and go in my closet for 15, 20 minutes. And I would go in and I would envision certain spaces and feel certain feelings to shift my vibrational field even further into my optimal alignment. Now, I'd come out of that closet sometimes, <laughs> makeup running down my face because I cried so deeply because I was so feeling it. Do you understand me? Let yourself feel it. Um, you could choose joy. What makes you joyful, right? You could choose love. You could choose multiple ones. If you have a health thing, you could see the space health, healthy and whole. You know, if you have a pain or, or a disease or something going on in the body, you can see that space well. And you can say, what does that feel like, right? You say, well, I don't know. I'm not well. How do I know? Well, You've got an imagination. What do you think you have it for? Use it. Imagine what well would be like. Imagine what well would be like. I could cry thinking about it for you. Oh my God, right? All right, you know the, you, you get the understanding. I need you to take the, if you want to, you do whatever you want. I have complete neutrality here. If you don't, if you're not in, that's fine. But if you're in, take 15 minutes a day for at least a week. If you can do more, give it to yourself. See a space that brings you a vibration and an emotion you, you like having and feel that emotion for 15 minutes. Now, you know, don't get in your head about it. Don't make it if you miss it one day or whatever, get off the wagon a bit. Don't beat yourself up. Don't judge yourself, right? You just go back. <laughs> start over just keep moving forward you know um but what i am seeing is people implementing this even this what i would call it's pretty user-friendly manner are experiencing massive shifts like abundance health 
miracles because we're in that different flow we talked about in the beginning of class we're in a different space of us right and so now what i did in 2017 that took maybe i mean i have journals i've looked back on seven weeks seven weeks i did it repetitively every single day and i've told the story before i'm not going to go into it in great detail but I had a job that I didn't love, but it was a good job, and it was 17 years of my life. That's a pretty amount, good amount of time. And seven weeks into this that I'm sharing with you, see it, feel it, seven weeks in, I got out of that job. And I'd been wanting to go to the Grand Canyon for years. I was drawn to go there. I didn't know why. I just, you know, and Sedona. And it was the year I went for the very first time. So right after that, like, that was part of my my vision. So when I say, see it, feel it, I saw myself on the top of Cathedral Rock in Sedona. That's what I did when I went in the closet. That was my space. That was my happy. That was my gratitude. That was my joy. And I would imagine myself climbing Cathedral Rock. I would feel the dirt under my hands and the red rocks and the sun. I would hear the wind. I would see and smell and every bit of it I could do. I did it. I was, I was there in the closet. I was there. And seven weeks later, I was there. I stood on the top of Cathedral in reality. We create it, we are creating it. And it's time to own that creatorship ruthlessly. All right, let me check this, let's see. All right. Oh, so I had asked you to look at the lyrics for have to believe we are magic by Olivia Newton john and I put it into patreon. Uh, so i'm going to read them off here Okay, so just listen with me for a minute, some may have not caught that um, post when I put it out, so we have some new people um, that may have not seen it either. Um, I want you to listen to me, as I say these words and think about i'm the words are you're coming from your higher mind. They're coming from your eternal wholeness, your space of sacred divinity that you are beyond this form. That's who's talking, okay? You with me? All right. Come take my hand. You should know me. I've always been in your mind. You know I will be kind. I will be guiding you. Building your dream has to start now. There's no other road to take. You won't make a mistake. I'll be guiding you. You have to believe. We are magic. Nothing can stand in our way. You have to believe. We are magic. Don't let your aim ever stray. And if all your hopes survive, destiny will arrive. I'll bring all your dreams alive for you. I'll bring all your dreams alive for you. From where I stand, you are home free. The planets align so rare. There's promise in the air and I'm guiding you. Through every turn, I'll be near you. I'll come anytime you call. I'll catch you when you fall. I'll be guiding you. You have to believe we are magic. Nothing can stand in our way. You have to believe we are magic. Don't let your aim ever stray. And if all your hopes survive, destiny will arrive. I'll bring all your dreams alive for you. I'll bring 
all your dreams alive for you. You have to believe we are magic. Nothing can stand in our way. Doesn't that just take on a whole nother space? I've heard that song since I was a teenager. And I really was listening to it over the last year or so. And I thought, this is us talking to us. This isn't a girlfriend talking to a boyfriend or a boyfriend talking to a girlfriend. This is be, this is another level. So trust that space of you. Trust that space of you when you see it and feel it, when you see it and feel it, trust that space of you that is never ever gonna leave you. Trust that space of you that is with you bringing all of this to be. There's nothing, nothing that can stand in your way. Except us, I guess, our own thoughts, yes? If we don't believe we are magic, we have to believe it. It's nothing else outside of us. It's you, it's me. So, all right, I love this. Let's allow, if you will, a little space where we can believe we are magic together. Yes? Would you like to believe we are magic together? Yes? All right. So let's allow this space. And what I'd like to do is ask everyone who's here live and or video that as you have this space, because there's no time in, in quantum field, there's only time in the human construct, right? So whether the people that are here live or someone sees us a year from now, it's the same energy, okay? I'd like everyone connecting with this space right now to send out a massive wave of love to the connection point of the higher mind in the human form, a massive wave of love to the remembrance of the divine within. Like, let's just wrap this whole thing up in so much love and in so much beauty in so much grace and in so much sacred divinity that it just amplifies the engagement for all. Does this make sense to you? To just allow that understanding, allow that intention. And you're doing that as the wholeness of the collective and then in your individual space allowing yourself to tap into see and feel that emotion you've chosen or emotions when i first started this in 2017 i told you i did this straight for seven weeks and then got out of that job and was on the top of a red rock my emotion i chose may not you may not pick it you may not have thought about it but i gave it so much thought and my emotion i chose was freedom that was what i chose because i thought in freedom is abundance in freedom is gratitude in freedom is love and freedom is joy and freedom is freedom <sighs> so all right let's allow let's allow so close your physical eyes let your body relax. Take a nice deep breath in, nice and slow. As you exhale, feel the body drop. Feel the body relax. Let the shoulders drop. Just keep allowing the breath at a pace that feels right to you. You can accentuate the breath so you actually hear it. That's helpful because you're picking up on the I am that is flowing through your form. That's divinity within form. Allow yourself to feel your breath. Relax the form. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And all together as a collective unit, 
we bless this remembrance, we bless this reconnection of ourselves to our divinity, to our sacred self, to the higher mind. We bless this understanding that we are magic. We bless this understanding that nothing can stand in our way. Woo. We see our planet vibrant, fertile, strong, clean, clear, pristine, <gasps> abundant. That's what we see. <gasps> now allow yourself to implement your individual choice of feeling and seeing as a creator being that you are. Allow yourself right now, set your stage, write your script. Feel, sense, taste, hear, see the description you are giving your now. Allow your breath. Feel it. Yane, yane, yane. Feel it. Whatever space you're creating to be your visual, whatever space you're creating to be your visual, pick up on everything you can with your senses. Smell it, taste it, see it. And the imagination to another level. Creation skills. Allow yourself to feel it in all the ways you can feel. You can even feel with your ears the way you hear it. Allow that feeling to move through every space of your body. <gasps> Allow your heart to open as you engage that feeling. Allow your mind to be open as you engage that feeling and allow that coherent flow of heart-mind connection to be amplified. That you're sending a signal to your form, a signal to your energy field, a signal to you and all levels of you that this is what we believe. Ooh, dear. <gasps> Allow your breath. <sighs> Beautifully done. I can see you guys amplifying your field. Your field is the magnet that draws, if you will, the alignments you designed. And the field you are emanating right now is engaging this bliss state you are having, you are creating, you are being in this now. Feel it. See it. Sometimes I sing when I do this now. I didn't start out doing that, but sometimes I sing now and I know it's just another level of moving energy vibrationally frequency wise. So if you're feeling to hum or sing, allow yourself, mics are on mute, allow yourself. You can move your hands if you feel to move your hands. You're allowing the aligning and designing at its most optimal level. Whatever you are seeing, feeling, experiencing in your envisionment, whatever it is, is as real as a physical happening, a physical experience. It's just as real to your body, to your being. It knows no difference. Your health, your systems, your cells doesn't know if you're physically there or if you're mentally, energetically there. It only reads 
the energy of what you're telling it. Be mindful of the power you wield. Allow your breath. Now allow yourself to envision your root center at the base of your torso and it's vibrant and flowing, it's strong, it's safe, it's loved, it's heard, it trusts itself, it allows its flow. And that energy going down your legs, like you're the tree with the trunk, and then out your feet, your golden lines of light, your root lines into the earth. You are the walking tree and the roots running deep into the earth and the energy of the earth blessing the energy of the body and the body blessing the energy of the earth. And you have rooted, anchored, planted this vibration of you, this creation of yours. Picture that moving down into the root lines, into the earth. Some of you are picturing that and you're also picturing or feeling to arc the back. Just allow if you feel too gentle, gentle, be in your space the way you need to be. But I feel like some of you are wanting to stretch up the, the torso, bringing the heart forward and pulling the shoulders back, opening the heart center up. Just allow if you feel to do so, there's a massive portal in your heart opening up and light shaft of you pouring in down through those roots, matching this vibration of you. My whole body's shaking. It's like you're actually vibrating yourself into another space of you. <gasps> the energy moving up the body as well to the crown. You may feel to move your head back slowly, allowing the throat center to open some, just whatever feels right to you. Please trust yourself, but be gentle. <laughs> Allow your breath. Massive wave of light of you, of divinity, of the truth of who you are, your wholeness, your core, just amplified itself outward through your entire field. Like a sonic boom of you. Your team of light is around you. You are part of that team. They are not here to serve you, protect you, and care for you. They are here to walk beside you and with you. You are just as powerful in your form. And you can utilize spaces that they cannot because they are not in that form. Yet you are the higher dimensional being of light and the form. Breathe. Leave a gift of gratitude at the feet of your team. Just allow yourself to imagine leaving a gift of gratitude. You might see a specific item, a rose, a crystal, or you might even just allow yourself to bow and simply say thank you. For some of you, your spiritual team is your uh, loved one that's passed away, an ancestor, for some of you, they're star lineages. For some, they're angelics. For some, there's a mix. Just allow. There's no wrong way to be you. Now just seal this space up with love. Seal it with your love. Allow yourself to hear the song in your head have to believe we are magic nothing can stand in our way take that with you just we're choosing to engage it from our conscious awareness breathe Beautifully done. Beautifully done. 
When you're ready, bring your focus back to your physical. No rush. If you don't want to come back right now, you don't have to. When you're ready, you bring the physical eyes back open to focus, knowing you are the physical, the quantum, all the spaces of you. It's just the focus is changing for a moment, yes, to read the space, which you are all the spaces. You are all the spaces. I'm taking a moment in my mind right now and I'm giving you a hug. I'm really good at this by now. I've done it for years. I can feel you in my arms. I can feel the warmth of your body. I can smell the scent of your hair. I can feel your heartbeat on my chest. I have one hand behind your head and I'm kind of cradling your head on the side of my shoulder. I'm giving you a hug. And you've given me one, so thank you. Thank you. What we put inside of 51 minutes is remarkable. This has been incredible. I'm so grateful. I feel like we've done hours and hours of depth of connection and love. It really does give us a glimpse of that understanding of quantum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being in my life. For giving me an outlet to bring this forth to. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. I love you, I love you, I love you, unendingly. Let me check this chat really quickly here. I am powerful statement and beautiful, Sandra. Thank you for that. Yes, emotion activates the magic intention. Absolutely. Energy in motion, emotion, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Almost want to screenshot her comment there. I'm this may end up on YouTube, so I won't say the word. She says, God, you are effing awesome. I'll say that. <laughs> Made my day. Thank you. Um, let's see. Imagination. Just saw this. Wow. A magic nation. Beautiful, beautiful. Magic is my religion. Higher form of magic. Free flowing play created by you. The moment you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for this. Oh, I love that antique bird cage with the door open. Beautiful. Beautiful, Sandra, thank you for that. Thank you, Doreen, for being here. Thank you for your comment here. All right, holy ones, this is fantastic. Now, implement, implement, yes? Fantastic is wonderful, but it's even more powerful when it's implemented. Implement, put it into use. Trust yourself, allow your flow. Try that 15 minutes a day, at least once a day for at least one week, seeing and feeling that higher space of that, that flow of emotion. That is your joy, your peace, your abundance, whatever that is for you. Let me know how it goes. Share your spaces if you feel to, please. Um, Patreon, email, whatever works for you. This video will be available on Patreon in about 24 or 48. I want to add music maybe, but we'll see. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, that hug. I have tears on my face on that one. I really, really felt you guys. Thank you for that. And you felt it too. I'm so grateful, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, such a beautiful class. I am magic, we are magic. Yes, Sano, thank you. We are magic. I love it. Felt the hug and tears too. Holly, thank you, Holly. Holly, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting a hug in person next week. <laughs> We're gonna see each other in Sedona. I'm gonna try to do a live. So we'll see, maybe I can get some information out to everyone and you guys could join us live. I'm gonna be in Sedona next week. So we're doing our Sedona time to rise once a year deal. Okay, um, all right. If you're not already in a pod, consider in a cosmopod of light if you'd like to join one. And other than that, I think we're good. Oh, I have notes I'm gonna be sharing from the beautiful candle space but i'm going to try to make either a video or an audio and share it with you that way so you can hear it but it was really really powerful and beautiful and i want to give it a, a space for sharing so i will do that as well you imagined yourself in sedona sonal i love it i love it it works so let's see yes <laughs> i'll see you there as well i will uh. Your I am meditation blew my mind. Oh, thank you, Sandra. And thank you for bringing that in. I specifically did that one to go really good with this class. So like, use that. Thank you, Sandra. Use that Patreon meditation. There's another I am I did a couple months ago, I think. But this one for September, it is the breath of the I am. So it's kind of really mm, in your face. I do get a little loud with breathing it, but it's a powerful tool. So when you're listening to it, let yourself do it. When I you hear me go, I am, you do it. All right. There's something that happens when we feel our breath and our form and we hear our breath and our form with the words I am Oof, another level. So thank you for reminding me, Sandra, with that little note. Um, do that meditation if you haven't already. That could be one of your 15 minutes. I think it's a bit, it's a little bit longer, of course, but you could use that, you know, and then do your, your feeling while you're doing the I am, right? Meditation. All right, I'm getting some head shakes. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm wonderful trippy. My kind of trippy. I love it. Yeah, you're my kind of trippy too, Sandra. I love it. <laughs> Sometimes we're too trippy for some people, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. All right. I love you all so very much. Thank you for being here. Can, I'm going to screenshot this real quick, guys. Hold on. Camera's on or off. I'm all right. Whatever you want. If you want to come in, you can, but names are beautiful as well. I want to get a picture of us, okay? All right. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. All right, I'm going to try to put that on my IG and my YouTube and Patreon. All right, I love you all so very much. Thank you for being here with me today and in this now and write me, tell me something wonderful. Mwah. I love you, I love you, I love you. Bye.